point slope form and slope intercept form. This is lesson 3.6a and all the previous videos for the geometry playlist are in the description link there and at the end of the video. The equation of a line can be written in many different forms and the point slope and slope intercept forms of a line are equivalent. And because the slope of a vertical line is undefined, we can't use these forms to write an equation of a vertical line. We have a rise over our run. If our run is equal to zero, it's a vertical line. We did that in video 3.5a, if you missed it. So here's the point slope form. The point slope form of a line is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Now, if you're confused when I'm saying sub 1, it's this little subscript down here. So we call them subs for subscripts. And this means it's the first point. These are the values, the x and y values for the first point. If there was a little 2 here, it would mean it was the x and y values for the second point. Where m is the slope, and x sub 1, y sub 1 is a given point on the line. So if we have 4 for x and 3 for y, that's our x sub 1, y sub 1 for our first point, and we know the slope m is 2, we can write y minus 3, there's our y sub 1, see? 2 for our m, see? And a 4 for our x sub 1. For slope intercept form of a line, it's y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. b is where the line crosses the y-axis. So if you look at this line, it's crossing the y-axis at 3. So our y-intercept b is a 3. And it's falling to the right, so we know it's a negative slope. We can count negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 is our rise, and 1, 2 is our run. We have a negative 3 over a 2. It's negative 3 halves. And we know our b is a 3, so we have y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. For the equation of a vertical line, it's x equals a, where a is the x-intercept. It's where the line crosses the x-axis. So here, the y-intercept was where it crossed the y-axis. Here, the x-intercept is where it crosses the x-axis. So for a vertical line, all the values for x are going to stay the same, whatever they are. And the y values will change. So you might have uh, x is 2, y is 3, x is 2, y is 4, x is 2, y is 5. And the x will stay the same as the y goes positive or negative. See? And the equation of a horizontal line is y equals b. It's where b is the y-intercept. See? It's where it crossed the y-axis. So... For a horizontal line, all the y values are going to stay the same as the x values go negative or positive and change. Here's a proof and the point slope form of a line. So our given is the slope of a line through points x sub 1, y sub 1, that's our first point, and x sub 2, y sub 2, that's our second point, is this. That's our slope formula. We did that in 3.5b. We need to prove the equation of a line through x sub 1, y sub 1 with slope m is this. This is the point slope form of a line. This is the slope formula. This is the point slope form of a line. Here's our proof. We're going to let this black x and y be any point on the line. That'll be our x and y values. Here's our slope formula. We're going to substitute this black xy in for our x sub 2, y sub 2. See that? And we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by x minus x sub 1. On this side, we can rearrange and put the m in front. On this side, we're going to have an x sub minus x sub 1 on top of each other, the same numerator and denominator that can cancel each other out. And we're going to have y minus y sub 1 over 1, which is basically y minus y sub 1, isn't it? Now, we can use the symmetric property of equality and put this on the right side and this on the left side, and we now have point for slope form of a line. y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. See? We can write the equation of a line in the given form. This one wants it in point-slope form. The line with slope 3 through 2 for x, 1 for y, and it has to be in point-slope form. So here's point-slope form. 
we just substitute these in. We know slope is 3, so we're going to have a 3 there. We know y sub 1 is a 1. That goes there. And we know the x sub 1 is a 2. We just substitute the values in. And the line through 0, 4, and negative 1, 2 in slope intercept form, here's our x sub 1, y sub 1 values, and x sub 2, y sub 2 values. We put it in the slope formula. We're going to have 2 minus 4 over negative 1 minus 0. 2 minus 4 is a negative 2. Negative 1 minus 0 is a negative 1. When you divide with the same negative sign like this, we're going to get a positive, so it's a positive 2 slope. Now we choose an ordered pair to substitute into the slope-intercept form, into this form. So using this first pair, 0, 4, we've got a 0 for x, a 4 for y, so we have 4 equals 2, that's our slope, m, times 0, that's our x, plus b. And 2 times 0 is 0. So now we have 4 equals 0 plus b, which is 4 equals b. So O, where the line is crossing the y-axis. And we can write it in slope-intercept form using m equals 2 and b equals 4. We know the slope is 2, m. See? We know that b equals 4. So now we have y equals 2x plus 4. There's our slope. There's our y-intercept b. The line with x-intercept 2 and y-intercept 3 in point-slope form. So we need to put it in point-slope form. And we're going to use the points 2, 0, and 0, 3 to find the slope. So here's our slope formula. We're going to have 3 minus 0 over 0 minus 2. 3 minus 0 is 3. 0 minus 2 is a negative 2. We have negative 3 halves for our slope. And here's our point-slope form that we need. It's right here. We substitute in this negative 3 halves for our m, that's our slope. We're going to substitute 2 for x and 0 for y. That's our x sub 1, y sub 1. We have a 2 and a 0. y minus 0 is just y. So we have y equals negative 3 halves times x minus 2. See? Now it's in slope-intercept form. So be careful when substituting a negative coordinate into a point-slope form of an equation. Subtracting y is equivalent to adding the opposite of y. When we subtract a negative, we add the opposite. If we have 8 and we need to subtract a negative 4, that means we're going to add the opposite. We're going to do 8 plus a positive 4. That means we have 12, doesn't it? A line with y-intercept b contains the points 0 for x and b for y. A line with x-intercept a contains the point a and 0 for y. So this is where the line crosses the y-intercept at B. This is where the line crosses the x-intercept at A, OK? We're going to do graphing the equation of a line in our next lesson. That's 3.5B. We're actually going to do this on some coordinate planes. And I'll give you several examples. I hope you're doing well. Hit the Like button if you can. And I'll see you next time. Bye.